Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this React Native video we will learn that how we can code a API. These are the points that we have to do in this video. So first of all, we will see that what is the API call actually, then we have to write the code for API call, then we will obviously use the flat list to make a list here to offer all the data and after that we will do a little bit style with this uh, list and that's it all right so obviously we need a api to call that because uh, as we know we are a front-end developers and we cannot make the api so that i already have an api which is the just a dummy api from a uh, facebook you can just check out this link this is the facebook uh, official github link and here we can see that we have a small list for some movies uh, with the title and the release years all right so this is uh, fair enough to make a api call in the react native so now let's start with the first thing that what is actually the api call so front end uh, basically the javascript cannot directly interact with the database so we have to just directly call the apis and these api may be written in any server side language uh, they can be written in the Java, they can be written in the PHP, Node, etc. Right? So they always written a JSON format basically and we just handle this JSON format in the JavaScript and we can just uh, fetch the data with the API. So this is the all about the basic API call. Alright? So now let's uh, just write the code for API call. So this is my app.js file in the React Native here you can just see that this is the major file from where just we literally start the code right so first of all i'm assuming that you just uh, are uh, just familiar with this code this is a basically we just have to import the react and uh, view and text view from the react native then we just made a simple class here and after that we just make a render function here all right so first of all i'm just going to write a constructor so that i can just define some states right so I must have to call the super here and after that just make some state like this dot state and uh, we need basically only one state with the data and by default it's a uh, array type so now when we just want to fetch the data on the on page load or basically you can say that the own uh, component load then we must have to call the api in the component did mount so i am making just a component did mount function and here i am just going to call one more function this dot api call All right and let's create a this function api call and we will write here uh, code to call the api so we must have to get uh, we must have to know the url for the api so here let's take a variable um, let's let resp and here we just pass this url to the fetch api function which is related to the java script right then let's zoom out a little bit more screen so that we can just see the code clearly right after just making this so we must have to define uh, here await because this is uh, the async call so that we can just write here await and this function should be async here right so after this just getting the resp here so let's convert this data to the json so let's take one more variable with the resp json and here we also define await and here we just handle the response we will just convert the response to the json format all right so just resp dot json so now we can just console this json and let's check what we just got in this api data So now let's uh, refresh it once. Actually, we have to call it JSON dot one because logs are not going to be shown here. Right. 
so now we can see that we actually got this data here so and now we can just pass this data to the state so just write here this dot set state and here just data will be updated with the json uh, rest date json dot uh, we can just say it movies right because uh, the title and the other things uh, here you can actually see the proper result so we don't need to the title and the description we just directly go to the movies because here we have a proper array to handle it right so just put pass the movies here now uh, data we just uh, get the data inside the state so now we just need to uh, flat list to render this data and guys if you don't know about how actually flat list work the, I already made a separate video on this you can just get the uh, uh, link of this video from the description box if you just want to watch it otherwise uh, I'm just going to clarify the flat list completely from in this video also so this is the flat list we have we just actually defined and we we must have to pass at least the two uh, props here one is the data and data should be this dot state dot data and the second can be like a render item and this is basically an object and the first object will be a function uh, and so I'm just pa passing here um, arrow function here and let's define the text also here so let's pass the parameter with the name of item and let's write here item dot title right and we can just remove or comment this one for now so now let's see now you can see that we just got a list of all movies here but this is a little bit tiny so we can just uh, pass some style here so that it could be look like uh, a little bit nice so just add the style and in the style I'm just going to add the three properties what is font size can be like um, 40 and the second property is um, background color can be like uh, sky blue and third one is um, margin so margin can be like 15 pixel 14 right so now you can see that we actually got the all list in um, some decent style so so if you just want to show the release here release here also so that we can just write here simply mm, let's uh, make a comma in both of them and write here item dot release here and now we got the release here here also so this is the all about the how we can call the api in react native and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care